everybody, it's Jen with Cake Tastic Cakes, and I'm going to show you in this little video how simple it is to fill a cake with a soft filling. I'm going to be using jelly in this video. It's real easy to do, so just follow along. All right, anytime you're going to be using a soft filling for your cake, you're going to want to build a nice dam around the outside edge in order to not let it squish out when the weight of the other cake stacked on top press down on it. Makes sense, right? And what I like to use is American buttercream. American buttercream is also called crusting buttercream. It's really, really firm if you don't add too much cream or milk, whatever you'd use in your recipe. So it makes a really, really hearty, strong dam, and I find it to be super effective, especially in the warmer weather. I use a big, just an open circle tip, make a ring around it as you saw, and then as far as the filling goes, I've got eight inch tier or eight inch cakes here and I'm probably adding around eh, maybe a third of a cup of jelly, maybe a little bit more to the cake for each layer. It's going to really kind of depend on how thick your dam is and you also have to consider too when you stack your, your layers of cake up, if you do have a soft filling and it is rather thick. The center might have a little slight divot to it on the top where the icing is going to stand up on the outside, but the center might, might just sink in a little bit, so just something to be aware of. But once you have your amount of jelly, do not go past the top of that dam. Don't do that, otherwise, you know, it's all for nothing. You're going to carefully place your next layer of cake on top and then do the same thing. I'm going to pipe out a, a nice little dam around the edge, a nice little border, and Again, I'm going to add another layer of jam to it. And just like before, once you're happy with the amount that you have, try to make sure it's nice and even, especially if it is jam, it might have from some uh, fruit chunks in there that you'd have to be aware of. Add your next layer very carefully. Make sure you put it on there properly and space it well because you don't have a lot of wiggle room. You can't, well, I mean, you could carefully lift it off and replace it if you need to. It just becomes a little bit more difficult because you don't want to disturb the dam underneath. You don't want it to roll it off the edge of the cake beneath it. So again, you know, fill it up with your jam after you pipe your nice border on there. Put your last piece of cake right on top. And now you're ready for the dirty icing part. Now, if it is summertime and you find that your cake is just very soft, the icing is a little soft, it's humid, whatever, you're not comfortable with it, Wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the fridge for like an hour, especially if it's a thicker cake like this one. This will help everything kind of re-solidify. It'll really make those dams firm up beautifully for you. And then you could take the saran wrap off and do your crumb coating. I'm putting my crumb coating on first because it wasn't so bad when I made this cake, even though it's coming out in the middle of summer. I did this a little while ago. So I'm just doing a nice light crumb coating, going to stick it in the fridge for a while when I pull it out, ready to go. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because it helps me out as well. We can help each other. I've got a lot of other videos out there, so be sure to take a look, especially beginner videos that you might find helpful. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.